like 150 degree heat, UV radiation, and people. Hi and welcome to Select 10. A post-apocalyptic world is typically one of the most exciting and interesting backdrops for a movie. There have been plenty of outstanding post-apocalyptic movies over the years, but there have also been many not-so-good ones, and selecting a good film can be tricky. So to spare you time, we have selected the top 10 best post-apocalyptic movies of the 21st century, which are must-sees for movie fans. And watch the entire video to make sure you don't miss any of the listed movies. Number 10. The Book of Eli. It is a post-apocalyptic neo-western action film, directed by the Hughes brothers. The movie takes place 30 years after a nuclear war that has left the Earth in ruins. The main story centers on a lone warrior named Eli, who battles his way throughout America in order to save a precious book that contains the keys to rescuing humanity. His mission, however, becomes challenging when he meets Carnegie, a vicious town leader who is looking for a book that Eli is carrying. Overall, the film is action-packed and offers enough plot twists and innovative concepts to rank as one of the best post-apocalyptic films of the previous decade. And the movie has a 6.8 rating on IMDb and a 64% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. This is the end. It is an post-apocalyptic comedy film directed by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. The plot revolves around actor James Franco, who is hosting a party with a bunch of celebrity friends, and among those who are attending are also his old friends, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, Jay Barichel, Danny McBride, and Craig Robinson. However, their enjoyable gathering quickly turns into a nightmare as a catastrophic apocalypse breaks out, isolating Franco's guests within his house and wreaking havoc on Tinseltown's finest. As the civilization they remembered crumbles around them, cabin fever and limited rations begin to rip the six friends apart, but if they want to survive the end of the world, they have to find a way to work together. Overall, it ranks among the funniest post-apocalyptic films ever made, so if you prefer comedies in your post-apocalyptic movies, this is the end might be the one for you. The movie has a 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb and an 83% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Snowpiercer. It is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi action film based on the French novel, Climate Fiction. The film is set in the year 2031, when the Earth has turned into a post-apocalyptic ice age, and the few humans who have survived now travel on the Snowpiercer, a self-sustaining train that circles the planet continuously. The train is split into lower-class and upper-class portions, and Curtis Everett leads a gang of lower-class people to seize control of the upper-class sections of the train, which are home to the elite. During their quest, Curtis discovers more about the tragic past of the train and the sinister secrets of its creator as he makes his way to the front of the train. Overall, it offers a unique perspective on the post-apocalyptic world, and the film is stylish, realistic, and an underrated gem that everyone should watch. The movie has a 7.1 rating on IMDb and a 94% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. The Road. It is a 2009 American post-apocalyptic survival film, directed by John Hillcoat. The film is set in a world devastated by an unexplained event that wiped off most of humanity and forced a number of survivors to turn to cannibalism. The main plot revolves around a dad and his young son, who roam around this post-apocalyptic society, seeking to keep civilization's hopes alive. Later on, in quest of a sustainable environment, they travel toward the sea, surviving as best they can on what they can collect, and attempting to evade roaming groups of savage humans who will turn them into slaves or even worse. Overall, the concept exploration in this film is thought-provoking and universal, and it relates to the nature of humanity on a profound level, and it might be the best post-apocalyptic film ever made. And the movie has a 7.2 rating on IMDb and a 68% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. The Hunger Games. It is a 2012 post-apocalyptic sci-fi adventure film directed by Gary Ross. The movie is set in a dark post-apocalyptic future in the country of Panem, in which a boy and a girl are yearly selected as tributes and made to participate in The Hunger Games, a complicated broadcast fight to the death. The major plot revolves around Katniss Everdeen, who offers to take her little sister's spot as tribute after her sister was first chosen. Later, Katniss goes to the capital with Peta Mellark, the male tribute from her district, to train and compete in the Hunger Games competition, which lasts until only one contestant is left. 
Overall, the film offers a dark, compelling story filled with some amazing action, making it one of the finest in the genre. The story of Katniss and her conflict with the Capitol is continued in the film's sequels. The movie has a 7.2 rating on IMDb and an 84% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. I Am Legend. It is a 2007 post-apocalyptic action thriller film, loosely based on the 1954 novel of the same name. The plot revolves around Robert Neville, a smart scientist and survivor of a man-made virus that turned mankind into violent mutants. He roams the streets of New York City alone, seeking out any potential survivors, while attempting to use his own immune DNA to discover a treatment for the epidemic. However, Neville is aware that the odds are stacked against him and that he is severely outnumbered, as the sick are patiently waiting for Neville to make a mess up which will help them to trap him. Overall, it is a well-crafted story set in a magnificently ruined post-apocalyptic landscape and it is a must-see on this list. The movie has a 7.2 rating on IMDb and a 68% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 4. A Quiet Place. It is a 2018 post-apocalyptic horror film directed by John Krasinski. The film is set in a future where most people have been wiped out by blind yet responsive to sound monsters. The main plot revolves around a father and mother who fight to survive and raise their kids in a post-apocalyptic earth and thus must exist in quiet to escape unknown predators that hunt by noise. Realizing that even the lightest voice or footstep can result in death, Evelyn and Lee are desperate to find a means to safeguard their children while simultaneously seeking for a strategy to fight back. The film depicts a terrifying concept as well as suspenseful sequences that keep you on the edge of your seat. Moreover, it has a sequel that transports us to other locations and depicts a world that is more dangerous and violent. The movie has a 7.5 rating on IMDb and an 83% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Zombieland. It is a 2009 post-apocalyptic zombie comedy film directed by Ruben Fleischer. The film is set in a world where a virus has turned the majority of the human race into zombies and the few remaining people are engaged in a never-ending conflict with the starving undead. The main story follows a goofy college kid named Columbus as he navigates a post-apocalyptic zombie outbreak and along the journey, he unexpectedly encounters three strangers and the four of them embark on a lengthy road trip across Southwest America in search of a shelter free from monsters. It is a kind of zombie film that is both violent and hilarious and depicts the post-apocalypse with a smile. Also it has a sequel, Zombie Land Double Tap. And the movie has a 7.6 rating on IMDb and an 86% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. WALL-E. It is a 2008 post-apocalyptic sci-fi film directed by Andrew Stanton. The film is set in a far-off future in which humans have abandoned Earth because it has been completely covered in waste and the Earth as we knew it has been ruined and drowned under thousands of tons of junk. The plot centers around Wally, a cute garbage-collecting robot who spends his time cleaning up the planet, but over the course of 700 years, Wally has grown to have a personality and he's quite lonely. However, when he sees Eve, a slim and attractive robot, deployed back to Earth on a monitoring assignment, the excitable Wally -E sets out on his greatest adventure yet, as he pursues Eve across the planet, which will transform the course of human history. Wally -E is an uplifting post-apocalyptic story that predicts humanity will do the right thing, if given the chance. The movie has an 8.4 rating on IMDb and a 90% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Here are a few honorable mentions before we reveal our top one movie. Finch. The story focuses on a robot that was created to guard the life of its ailing creator's pet dog, who learns about affection, loyalty, and the importance of human life. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. The plot revolves around Caesar, an ape and leader of the advanced apes, who welcomes a human family into his kingdom. However, later on, because of a vengeful bonobo, miscommunication between the two species occurs, leading to war. Be another way. Caesar! 28 days later. The story starts four weeks after a mysterious, deadly illness sweeps throughout the UK and follows a small group of survivors as they seek shelter. Number 1. Mad Max Fury Road It is a 2015 post-apocalyptic action film directed by George Miller. 
The film is set in years later, society has crumbled, and the warlord Immortan Joe enslaves apocalyptic refugees inside the Citadel, a desert stronghold where nearly everyone is insanely fighting for basic survival. The main plot revolves around Max, a nomad and fugitive, who reluctantly joins Imperator Furiosa, a rebel warrior who flees with Immortan Joe's wife in an attempt to rescue them. However, in order to defeat a warlord Joe, who owns the land's water supply, and to make it across the desert, Max and Furiosa attempt to outrun the ruthless tyrant and his minions in a fatal high-speed pursuit through the desert. It is a non-stop adrenaline from start to finish, it is masterful filmmaking, with breathtaking action, thrills, visual effects, and entertainment. The movie has an 8.1 rating on IMDb and an 86% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.